let us introduce the topic thermodynamics by considering a daily life event. Did you ever know why does an ice cream melt when we eat it? In order to understand this, we need to know about the temperature. Temperature is a physical quantity which tells us about the measure of hotness or coldness of a body. Mouth has higher temperature of 37 degrees Celsius while solid ice has lower temperature of minus 5 degrees Celsius. Actually an ice cream consists of closely placed water molecules attracted by intermolecular forces of attraction that is by hydrogen bonding. It may be noted that always energy in the form of heat or any form moves or transfers from higher temperature to lower temperature that is heat transfer occurs. When we eat an ice cream the heat energy from mouth is transferred to the ice cream. This heat energy supplied by mouth increases the temperature of solid ice cream. At the same time the temperature of mouth decreases from 37 degrees. At a particular stage both the mouth and solid ice cream have same temperature. At this stage both mouth and solid ice cream are said to be in thermal equilibrium. Further inside our mouth the heat energy supplied breaks the hydrogen bonds between solid water molecules due to which the solid ice cream melts and thereby gets converted into liquid form. As solid and liquid ice creams are in contact with each other, heat transfer occurs and after some time both have same temperature that is they exist in thermal equilibrium. In the entire process there exist three systems mouth, solid ice cream and liquid ice cream. Initially as mouth and solid ice cream are in contact with each other they both exist in thermal equilibrium. Secondly during melting of solid to liquid ice cream as both are in contact with each other they also exist in thermal equilibrium. Finally as liquid ice cream is in contact with mouth they both are also in thermal equilibrium. This concept of existing of thermal equilibrium between three states is nothing but zero law of thermodynamics which may be defined as shown.